I'm going to drop start a water pump. I think this one's destined to heaven. Ah, oh, Steph. Well, I call that fully serviced, ready for the season. Oh, that's stale in there. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, slightly like here it's squirting. So here we have a job lot of machinery. Now, we used to specialize in the smaller equipment, but now that we buy and sell machinery, we prefer slightly bigger stuff. But with buying job lots of equipment, you end up with a load of small stuff as well. So today, we are going to go through all of this, see what works, see what starts, see how good it is, and see if it's worth selling, and how much we could possibly make out of it. And I'm even gonna let you know how much I paid for it, see if there's any profit in selling small machinery. So let's show you around, see what we've got, and then we'll start litter. starting. Start starting? Do you say litter? Rich just said litter. <laughs> Rich just said it's litter, which, yeah, okay, some of this is litter. Some of it has got a value, so let's check it out. Josh has got his crone hat on from Llama. And Rich just said he's chronosome. It's a beauty hat. He's, lacking, he's lacking a few chromosomes. <laughs> <laughs> right, what have we got? We have got a beautiful arrange, a range, array of machinery, which some of it we've seen before when we were a dealer because some of it's got our old stickers on it. And then some of it we've never seen before in our lives. So first of all, we have an echo pulsor, which looks pretty good and all together. And it's got a extra long shaft on it. So see if that all works. We've got a Honda four-stroke brush car. We've got a Mitox strimmer. We've got a Makita strimmer. We've got a Makita postal borer. We've got a Toro Time Master, an Alco rotary mower, a Honda rotavator, a DR wheeled strimmer, and what's that, Josh? Honda. Honda mower. Honda Alley deck. Josh loves a Honda mower. That's when mowers were mowers. That is true. We're quite into it. I'm looking forward to see if that mm. starts. Uh, what else we got, mate? <coughs> Beautiful. 455 rancher. A dead weight of the saw. A oh, couple of domestic steel chainsaws. Broken spares only, do not use. Ooh. I will use brake cleaner to get that off. <laughs> and then and then it will look like it's new then. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, active strimmer. That was actually your one. Active strimmer. It? Now, when I first started becoming a dealer back in 2012, you know, obviously the big brands, Hasfana Steel and all of those jazz ones, weren't interested in you at all. They just wanted to, like, you know, they'd like ring them up and be like, hi, I want to be a machinery dealer. They're like, well done. Beep. So you have to start with some brands that are unknown. Anyway, I, I rang up a company called Midland Power at the time. They've changed the name or sold the company since. But they sold this active range, which was Italian equipment. And that was what we had turned up. And that strimmer has never let me down. But now is the time to see if she still starts and sell her. I bet so, people were green with envy without strimmer. Green with envy. Yeah, the same colour as your hat, mate. <laughs> but you don't look quite so active. <laughs> no, no, I got the lurgy today. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Josh is feeling a little bit worse for wear. <coughs> I know what that's come off of already. You do? We that did. come off a shredder, that did. did. Yeah, Honda so G GP engine. Runner, actually. Yeah. FS38. With a little Echo uh, hedge cutter. An old school 300 series Strimmer Husky. Two, like bell, tool. two bell cement mixers. Yeah, another Toro Hondas. Time Master. And that's Robin. about it. The forklift isn't in this video, but it is for sale if you're interested. The Bowser, which is a petrol pressure washer on the front of a Bowser, is going to be for sale, but that's going to be another video where we get that going. Yeah, that's about it. So, right, let's pick up some tools and see if they start. So we're going to turn this into three piles of machinery, one for Facebook sales, one for eBay sales, and one to put into an auction if it's not quite good enough to sell otherwise. So yeah, let's start starting. <laughs> Sorry, what was that, Josh? Come right off. I was going to say, if we can get one of those going, I will sit in it and spin round on it, but really just pulled the drum right off. I don't care. If it doesn't work, I'm getting another engine just so I can see that. <laughs> so you may remember from the other video where I picked up this load of bulk load of machinery. We've still got this, but all of this is going to be in separate videos. So this little skid steer here, which everyone seemed to your right hand was what shaking. the knickers about will be coming soon we'll be getting it going because it's got loads of attachments with it it's got a postal borer it's got a trencher it's got the pallet forks it's got two buckets and a land loot and yeah loads of stuff so well excited about that right i've got full hopes of this echo that she's going to start right up because she does have some fuel in her so primer bulb on up with a choke on with the on button and <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. If today's that good, I'll be very happy. Does she spin around? That was a bit of a bonus. Now, I only paid 100 quid for that, so I'm well happy with that because it's worth way more. We found some profit on the first machine. I don't feel it's going to go quite so swimmingly well for the rest of it, though. Right, it is extendable as well. If she goes out long. Can you follow it into the sky, Alex? Because not only does it go that long, that's probably like, what, 
25 foot, six foot shaft, six foot, yeah, six foot, I'm six two, so, you know. On there as well, interesting, let us know. So I love me Honda stuff. Now we're on to UMK 431, which is a four stroke. So we're up on the choke, give a little prime on the old nipple under there. And we've got fuel in it. We will take a little bit of warming up these Honda strimmers and that. Ideal, he runs, and that's a typical four stroke. It sounds flat. Husky rancher. Does she have any fuel? Yeah. Let's see if she starts. Jobs are good, and right. I certainly don't have high hopes for this Makita pole borer because. Look at the engine. It's a two-stroke. We'll give it a go anyway. I think this one's destined to heaven. There you go. Yeah, that ain't. I think that's a. I think that's a no. <laughs> that's a dud one. That's a no. Oh, oh, oh steady, me. mate. You're like a big old pig with that one on the end of it. <laughs> right, little one-inch water pump. I don't have much hopes for this. She ain't got any juice in though either. So, need some aspen. Hang on. We're empty. God, it smells bloody horrible, no? If you can't get it in the hole first time, Josh, use a funnel. Oh, uh, well, that'll do. Is that enough? Yeah. Oh, you tip it back in, innit? <laughs> well, if you see this inside this tank, I'm not tipping <laughs> it back in the can again. I'm going to drop start a water pump. Yeah, so I can hear it squirting. I reckon Rich is token powder. Oh, 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 a little oh, bit of life there. Yes. Again, I wouldn't really. Hang on, let's have a. She needs just to heat up a little bit more. I think she needs a carb clean. She starts. Two MS 170s, I should imagine. No, both 180s actually. Broken spares only, do not use. It's always going to be fun, isn't it? Oh, that's stale in there. Is it? Yeah. Well, there's an aspen now. Right, I don't really know where the top cover's off, but there you are. There it is. Don't need that bit, do we? Oh my God, Josh, health and safety. Someone could come off the flywheel and hit you in the face. And it looks like it already has. <laughs> <laughs> really? Ooh, got compression. No, broken spares only, do not use. I'm gonna go straight in for my active strimmer because I know this has had, only ever had aspen in it. Now, I do know the strimmer needs a key because- It needs a key? Yeah. Why does it need a key? Because you can't get to the choke with the covers on. To turn the choke on, you've got to put the key in through there and then push you around there, look. There you go. I guess it was designed for one of those ones at the top which turned. Oh. And then, I can't remember if the choke turns off automatically or not. Oh, I don't. I do like that strimmer a lot. I really do. I always have done. So I know what this come off of. It come off an elite shredder. Now this is the white engine one. So it's more of a domestic engine opposed to the GX. This is a GP200, so 200cc engine. Have we got fuel? Better just check, check the fuel, I suppose. Oh, most reliable engines on the market. Oh. <coughs> he says, <coughs> oh, choke is that way. Being a Honda qualified engineer, as Josh is, you know, three years of Honda to learn his trade. You think you know which way the bloody choke went, wouldn't you? <laughs> I think with a carb clean, that engine will actually go, because I can't think of a Honda engine that doesn't go without a carb clean. So to catch your breath now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, no, I had more action today than I did on Valentine's, I think. A, a Robin four-stroke water pump, two-inch water pump. I don't really know much about the Robin engines, to be fair. Throttle, choke. Four-stroke Aspen? Bit of four-stroke Aspen. On. Chokes that way, I reckon. <laughs> no. Get a bit more rev. Try, try it that way. Ha-ha! <laughs> We have a water pump. I know exactly where I'm going to use that. Oh yes. Unfortunately, the clutch is stuck on this one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to turn everything there. Yeah. That's a no goer. Anyway, I think this one's auction fodder. Told you it's litter. Right, Echo Strimmer. I put some aspen in. Primed. 
Echo Strimmer, that's an Echo Head Strimmer. <laughs> Bell cement mixer, Honda engine. Yeah, that could be auction. Let's see if I have any more luck with this one then, shall we? I, I don't have a pull rope. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll nick the recoil off that one and stick it on this one. Right, being that Josh loves his Hondas, I'll leave him to change of those recoils. I'm gonna see if this Toro will start. Doesn't sound great, I'll be honest. I can give it a blow. blow. He does love a good blow. Go on then. There she is! Drive! I thought it was going to be out there. And he didn't even get a bloody eight getting shot by then. <laughs> right, we've now got a recall on the cement mixer, so. I'm really annoyed because I'm not going to watch yeah. you go around like a food mixer. We're going to get a bit of brake cleaner, mate. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Needs a car cleaner, doesn't she, bro? Sounds absolutely sweet as a nut, she does. DR wheel trimmer up then. He's got to get his mouth around something, hasn't he? Up and running. Get out, guys! Right, little Husfana combi tool. Ha, oh, we're up and running. but nothing's happening at the bottom. Can't find it, grind it. <laughs> oh my God, look at that in here. I shouldn't worry about it, Josh. Look at the other end. Oh, hi, yeah. The old windings have been pulled off the back, haven't they? So. Look at it. Yeah, that's I don't know, even... straight auction, I think, that yeah. one, isn't it? Spares. One of Josh's favorite engines in the world, the little sprint engine. He cut his teeth on these, didn't he, Joshy? <laughs> To be fair though, as they go, if you add crap fuel in one of the engines, you'd probably start over anything else that's a little bit more refined. Yeah, and if it wasn't working properly, you just chuck an extra gasket in, don't you? That's it. I taught you well, didn't I? Double, double up the gasket. Yeah. You learned something. I did learn something. Good old Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go and catch some rats? Well, I call that fully serviced, ready for the season. The old FS55, eh? The most seen machine in the workshop for most technicians. Love an FS55. But only because they probably sold more of those trimmers than they have anything else in the world. I don't know what these workshop boys worry about, to be honest. You know, you've got to sell the stuff to start off with, let alone repair it. <laughs> Good little strimmer. It's a well-priced yeah. little strimmer, but yeah, yeah for it's a farmer just, or like you know, as a second it's machine. Just because they're so popular, they just become annoying. And it's, you know, FS55 start every single time. I think Josh um, needs some anti-vibration mounts on that one, I reckon. And to be fair, if it didn't start, it'd have only been ignition coil anyway. <laughs> uh, Getting taught in well, I don't have high hopes for this. Can anyone see why I haven't got high hopes for it? But also, look at the grime and the crap in around there. Look. Uh -uh, nope. Everyone loves a bench half strimmer, especially a Japanese made one. Right, she's got fuel in it. Now I love my Makita power tools and obviously Milwaukee as well. You see solid? <laughs> see solid, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's left me the Mitox strimmer. What a diamond Josh is, eh? You could have left me the Makita, which um, was seized. I think we serviced that one as well, by the looks of it. I think we sold it. it. I think we sold it originally, mate. Did we? That's one of the first as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, this is well early, this was. No, this is from Mower Land. Is it? Yeah, this wasn't from us. Is that like Digger Land, but for mowers? It's stopped, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Stopped the wrong way around. I wasn't expecting it. That's 
one of they choke throttle jobbies. Huh? One of they choke throttle jobbies where you like, you know, turn up your throttle on your choke. I got no throttle. I'm gonna go strimming with me choke though. I've never seen that in my life. Beautiful. Ah, oh, Steph. Uh, all right, James, you can put, uh, your, whoa, 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 whoa. put your lips around this. No, I shouldn't worry, mate. Hey, Rich, come in here. I don't think there's much point in them. Ready? Hey! Good, catch it. <laughs> yeah, put catch it back it. in. It's good. It's good. Put it back in. It's like, it's like gold. gold. Right. So what do you reckon a second-hand time master might be worth? No idea, you tell me. Mm. Anyone got one? Drop a comment below. Yeah, anyone wants Let us know. We can do it up or we can sell it as it is. Take your pick. Honda Rotovator. Now this Honda Rotovator was the, one of the first brand new Honda products I sold when we became a Honda dealer back in 2014, 2015, 2015. The year after you started, wasn't it? Well, actually, Hon I don't know. Honda that, followed Actually, me. I'm still waiting for you to start. <laughs> <laughs> I need some more juice. Bloody good advert for Aspen today, isn't it? It is. There we go. <laughs> oh, she starts, but just doesn't let her run. Right, so although I said we're gonna make three piles, we made two piles. So this here, not including the Time Master, is all stuff good to go pretty much as is. And then this over here is the stuff that either needs more work or is gonna go into an auction as is. So if there's anything you're interested in, let us know. Right, so there's two vlogs we just decided are gonna come out of this and that is gonna make one decent Toro Time Master out of the two. And we're gonna make one decent cement mixer out of the two as well. So all being well, there's some more content of this to come. The rest of it is just either gonna get sold or whatever. It's not really full vlog worthy on each machine. So if you're interested in any of it or you want any of it as is before we do it up or before we sell it, let us know in the comments or ping us an email, which is in the description. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheerio! Cheerio!